Hi, everybody. Um, it is very, very um, disconcerting talking in an empty room, but I wanted to um, kind of start a series of inaugural, le inaugural lectures to give you a sense of uh, what um, these video lectures are going to be like online. And this one um, is going to be addressed to both COM 200 Image Theory and COM 240 Mass Media. And um, we'll get to um, the ways that they're going to be separated and combined um, in the various formats as we go along. Okay? Um, item number one. I've just put together a blog site on blogger.com and um, it's going to cover um, both COM200 and COM240. Um, you'll find content for both classes at the same blog address. We will figure out how to um, get you um, into the blog um, later on. I don't know if they do it by email, but you'll be able to interact with the blogs. One of the reasons why, why I am combining the courses into one blog is a couple of different reasons, which I've already put in a blog. Um, some of you are taking both classes, and that's easier for you. Um, some of you from one of the classes may find some of the lectures, links, etc., etc., from the other classes interesting. And number three, I'm just lazy. I will stress that everything, both here and in Blackboard and on the YouTube channel, will be clearly marked as to what class it is for. So if there's a video post of a lecture and it's on the blog or it's on the video uh, on the YouTube channel, it will say COM240, Mass Media Research, cha Chapter 5, Rhetorical. Um, so there should be no confusion with that, all right? We're going to attempt to make this as interactive as possible, all right? So the blog and the YouTube video channel, this is going to be essential. Um, you will have access. We will provide, I will make sure that there is access for you to upload your own material. Um, these are going to be uh, your blogs also in order to comment on your peers and comment on my lectures. All that is going to take place in these two formats. Blackboard is going to be used primarily um, for content. I don't, trust, I don't trust Blackboard. I think it's garbage. All right, I'll just be straight up about it. Um, but we'll still be um, posting assignments on uh, Blackboard and be posting uh, written content as PDFs on Blackboard. Okay? Um, the way I'm thinking about, and I'm reaching out to you guys as far as what you want to do about submitting papers. There's an image theory paper that is due tomorrow. Um, I don't know when this is going out, but it's due tomorrow, the 17th. Um, there is a device called tracking changes to actually correct electronic Word docs. The learning curve is outrageous. I really don't feel like doing it. More likely what I am going to do, although it is very labor intensive, I'm going to step up. Mr. B is going to step up for you and scan papers, print papers. Uh, I will correct them. I will scan you back. I will scan them and send you back the PDFs. And you'll have access to all my um, corrections. At which point, especially you people with the midterm and image theory, you are going to have to send back the rough draft with the new draft um, as attachments. That's the way that that will go. All right. Let's look a little into, for those of you who are not taking image theory, you might want to fast forward or zoom through or do whatever. But I want to talk a little bit about image theory coming in, um, what we're going to do as far as content for the rest of the semester, what we're going to do in terms of what we're going to cover and what I'm hoping to cover, um, because I know a lot of you are getting a little antsy about the midterm. 
The next couple of weeks will give you all of the lecture content and the readings in order for you to do a midterm essay option. Those midterm essay options will be coming out as, uh, as a, a Word doc. Once again, it will be five to seven pages, MLA format. You'll have three or four, probably five or six different options. And like I told you guys before, it will have to do with Berger, it will have to do with photography, or Susan Sontag, or Bazan, or it might even have to do with Society of the Spectacle. After we get done with all that, I really want to get into Society of the Spectacle uh, by Guy Debord. I think that it's an expansion of what John Berger has to say in ways of, of seeing, and I think it's very, very important for us. Which leads me to my other conundrum. We have guest speakers from out of town scheduled. Doug Lane from Zero Books, we were going to do a discussion with him um, concerning Society of the Spectacle. He's a very well-known intellectual and writer of Marxist. I think he's a good guy to talk to in regards to um, Society of the Spectacle. Also, Arthur Berger from San Francisco has very politely um, consented to um, talking to him on the 23rd. I am going to try to make these happen. I'm already talking to IT about making these happen um, synchronously, which means that you would have to log in via Zoom um, to our guest speakers and interact with those guest speakers and have questions ready for those guest speakers. All right? I don't know if that's necessarily going to happen or not. All right? Worst case scenario, what I would really like to do is have an interview discussion with the guest speakers um, with questions from you guys already in my hands so that I could ask them these questions or I could send these questions out in advance and that would and Arthur Berger of course is for mass, uh, mass uh, media research methods and Doug Lane is going to be for image theory moving on to what I want to do in image theory I think I want to do an intensive look at Adam Curtis he's a famous British documentary filmmaker who has made some really um, very, very um, incendiary critiques of the image producing industry. It's kind of political dr politically driven. It has to do with psych psychology. Um, he's made a name for himself doing these documentaries. I really think we should spend time, and since we're not going to be in class, all this stuff, last I checked, most of Adam Curtis's material was available on YouTube. You're going to be able to watch it at your leisure. I'll, le I'll lecture on this stuff, and this will be one of your possible um, presentation projects for the rest of the uh, semester. And, that, and, we'll some, and we'll spend some time picking apart Adam Curtis. I think he's worth picking apart. Checking my time here. For COM 240, research methods, really want to stay with Berger for a while. There's 17 freaking chapters. A lot of it is very important that we get to. I don't know if we're going to be able to go through the whole book. I'm hoping to maybe do lectures where we combine one or two chapters, but that is going to entail a lot of reading from you guys. Sorry, that's just the way it is. You don't have to come into class. So you can spend the time reading the book. For the next few weeks, I want to just kind of knock through rhetorical analysis, ideological analysis, psychoanalytic criticism, and discourse analysis. And after that, I want to get into um, interviews. I want to get into interviews and maybe do some kind of interview workshop, because I know that we have been speaking about the possibility a meeting back in a brick and mortar setting um, for a couple of classes. I don't necessarily know if that's going to happen yet, but it would not be um, off the table, especially for you people that are still going to be local. Um, book reports. 
What about the book reports? Everybody's got to read a book. Everybody's got to do a report. Um, book reports are going to be due, I'm being pretty liberal about this April 10th, a month out. And that book report is, can take a, no, a, a number of different forms. One would be just a, a written book report that you upload to Blogger so that your peers can comment on it. And one of the, and the, and the co-assignment to that would be that everybody's got to make a comment on everybody else's um, book report. Or you could do a written present, a written paper with slides and supporting material, maybe as an attachment. Or you could go as far as uploading your own video presentation, the kind of like what I'm doing here, um, bringing, uh, uh, presenting the book. Presenting the book, okay? Um, I will want comments by everyone. That's going to be a gift, all right? Everybody in this class is going to is going to have to. Everybody in uh, research methods is going to have to submit some kind of tangible comment to the other people's um, book reports. I think that. So, you know, people have been asking me, where am I getting the books if I want to save money? Interlibrary Loan is an online service. Not only is it an online service, but you can go right over to the library. Um, Sarah there, I can't remember her last name. She's very sweet. She works in the back. Um, pass the circulation test. They will lead you to her. If you do not have the book ordered by ILL yet, yet you need to do that. Okay? need to do that. All right? Also, Heads up from uh, re media research methods, COM240 people. We, I am still going to bring in, in my constant um, um, attempt to um, keep our content. Um, Jerry Smith is coming in next Tuesday. You guys aren't going to be here. I'm going to videotape Jerry. We're going to do an interview with him, and, I, and I'm going to post it. But, in, um, in advance of that, you are going to get some biographical material on Jerry. You're going to get some, uh, a link to his, uh, his website, and some of the articles he's written about his historical and scholarly research. And you're going to need to provide a question to be able to, for me to sit here, all by my lonesome, and all by Jerry, well, we'll be together. Um, and uh, you're going to need to be able to provide him with a question that I will ask him and he'll answer. And that's probably the way it's going to look with um, the Arthur Berger, um, the Arthur Berger talk too. You're probably going to want to um, have, to have a question in advance for Arthur. So hopefully <clears throat> I'm going to get with IT and we're going to be able to do that both uh, the Doug Lane for image theory, Doug Lane, <coughs> and for um, research methods, um, Arthur Berger. Hopefully IT is going to be able to um, get us all together via Zoom to be able to chat synchronously. So you might as well mark your calendars for that, because that will be an attendance thing. Um, there's other stuff. I really want to. I, I really don't want to um, belabor this. It's an introductory lecture. Um, the lectures will run um, the class time. I figure that's that's the way we're going to go. You know, depending on um, what YouTube allows for the lectures that I'll give. I'll try to get out two lectures every week for each class, an hour, fifteen minutes. And you will be required to comment <clears throat> on each lecture so that I know that you have watched them, okay? Um, because I'm not going to put all this together and I'm not going to spend all this time going above and beyond to put these lectures together unless you're going to watch them, all right? It says, I'm a meanie, I'm one of the blue meanies, I'm Darth Vader, I'm Kylo Ren, I am the Wizard of Oz, all put together, I'm a meanie. I'm a mean guy. But that's just, you know, it's like when the going gets tough, the tough get going. And this is the way it's got to be. 
and hopefully um, this is going to be like cool and productive and I'm going to keep it as cool as I can. It's, that's the way I roll. Thank you and uh, we'll see you soon.